In the last video, we have written the basic code inside this detailed food activity to display the data in this list. So today we will write the data in write code inside this adapter class to display the data. So let's start. Extend this custom data adapter with array adapter. add food class okay. import this food mod class and implement the and create the constructor of this custom data adapter now let's declare some values private integer layout resource private activity activity private array list food food list As you want a new error list. Yeah. This we have extend the array adapter because the data which will come will be in the form of array. The, this activity is for the activity where we need to display and the array list of this food and the layout resource for the layout. Okay. resource and add a list food data super context add all this value inside this activity resource and data layout resource is equal to resource Activity is equal to activity. Okay, due to the same name, let's rename it to act. No, now it's good. And food area list is equal to data okay. now we add the notify data set change to get notified when the data will be changed now So now let's override some methods press alter enter and or press alter o now override method of get count get item get count get item get position and get item id and get view Now inside this get count we will return the size of the food array food array list dot size inside the this get item we will return the position of the food at which number the 
food is there so inside of super add food array list dot get position let this be the same as it is and inside this get item id will be the same as it is so now we will write code inside this get view to get the data remove this super and make it return row now add view row is equal to convert to view add view holder holder is equal to null this view holder will be holding the data create the class of view holder inside this only public public class view holder and inside this add food food and text view text view to display the data food name food calories and food date now we will check whether the row is null or not if row double equal to null or row dot get tag double equal to null then layout reflect inflector is equal to layout inflector dot from activity if the data if the data is not available then with the help of this and the view holder we will first get the data and we will display inside this view holder so now add row is equal to inflector dot inflect layout resource command null holder is equal to new view holder holder dot food name is equal to row dot find view by id r dot id dot name import the r class so holder dot food calories is equal to row dot find view by id r dot id dot calories holder dot food date is equal to row dot find view by id find view by id 
r dot id dot date text row dot set tag holder else holder is equal to this row to hold ok now let's holder dot food name is equal to get item position name dot set text order dot food dot get food name order dot food calories dot set text order dot food dot get calories color dot food date dot set text color dot food dot get record date so now let's run it and check whether it is running properly Okay, so let's add what do you eat? Strawberry and the calories will be 5. Submit. Okay. Here it is. Strawberry, kiwi, mango, apple. Okay, so we got the list and it is working properly see you guys in the next video please like share and don't forget to subscribe clueless tech